Today we're going to be going over how to change the EC5 connectors to XT90. Um, those are the connectors that I like running and when I first did it I had to do a lot of like YouTube research so I figured I'd make another tutorial. I know there's a couple out there but just on how I do it. Alright the soldering iron I'm using is a Weller soldering iron. It's the 100 watt one. It's a solder. It's technically a soldering gun. Um, I think after using this a little bit I would recommend using a soldering iron like the actual wand itself. This is nice and convenient but it just it goes so much faster with the wand. All right, so first things first, guys, you're going to want to make sure that you have the male connectors when you're connecting to a car and then the female connectors for the batteries. All right, so what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to heat up the cup with the soldering gun and then I'm going to add tin to it. That looks good. So basically, if you could see it, it's about half full, um, a little bit less than half full, but that's fine because we're gonna we're gonna make sure we tin the wire very well. All right, so now that now that we did the one side and we're already doing the connector, we might as well tin the other side. So again, you heat up the cup, and then you just add the solder to the cup. All right. So if you can see that, again, that's about a little bit less than halfway full. Um, sometimes I like to put a little bit more, but for now that's fine, just to show you guys. All right, let's get right into it. So I like to do one at a time, just so you don't get confused, but you want to get as close as you possibly can to the connector so you're not taking away too much wire. So if you look at the battery connector that you just cut, um, this was the po positive wire. So what we're going to do is we're going to solder it right onto the positive wire and just do everything one step at a time. That way there's no making mistakes at all. All right, so when it comes to getting this wire off, a lot of these uh, wire cutters, they don't have a big enough gauge for how big these wires are. So, and you really don't need much wire. And then grab it lightly and pull. And it's okay if you get a little bit of wires. Like, you know, you're going to get a little bit of the metal wires when you take it off, um, but just make sure you grab it tightly like this and you squeeze and you twist it just to keep all that wire together so again we took that off of the positive lead so we're going to look and look for the positive side of our xt90s and make sure the cups are facing out on both ends and what we're going to do is it's called tinning um, we're going to heat up the soldering gun we're going to tin the cup right there I, I don't go all the way full, usually about halfway full, um, and then we're going to tin the wire. So if you have nobody with you, like my brother just went inside, I, you, you know, you got to get creative. So I have the plug, the EC5 connector inside of the body mount here, and I'm going to just do it myself. Um, just be gentle with it. I have, I've got my protector underneath, so in case any solder drips, it's not going to land on the car. And again, you want to make sure that wire is really hot. Make sure that, the, again, make sure that the tin goes all the way into the wire. You don't want the tin to just rest on top of it. You want to make sure it gets soaked into all the different wires. So again, um, just to re-clarify, you want to have this cover on the wire first, then you take your heat shrink, cut it to a good length, and put that on the wire second. And keep that kind of far down because if this wire heats up too close to the heat shrink, it's gonna shrink it to the wire. You won't be able to move it. What you wanna do is heat up the solder that you've, or heat up the tin that you've put on the wire until you feel it drop into the cup. Now this isn't a very powerful soldering iron. Um, that's why I was saying a wand, I'd recommend a wand over this. So it takes a little bit more, but once it drops into the cup, make sure you push it down. And that looks pretty good. So it doesn't need to look super pretty guys. I mean, this is, you're just gonna solder, you just wanna make sure it's got a good connection. I'm going to add a little solder up top, 
just because it looks like it might need it a little bit. And then we're done. So we're gonna let that cool before we pull up the, the wire because it's very hot. All right, so once you're done, before you pull up the heat shrink, you wanna let this cool a little bit. You don't wanna just pull up that heat shrink too soon because it will, it will shrink before it even gets to where you want it to. And if there is a little bit extra wires, like, like there, like this wasn't the cleanest job in the world, but you could just simply take them off, knock them down. It's not the end of the world. All right, guys, one last uh, tip and trick that I forgot to mention, and I actually didn't do with the first one. I, you wanna, you could connect both of the connectors together, the XT90s, the male and female. It's a little trick that I learned to make sure that uh, everything stays straight while you're heating everything up. Okay, so now that the wire's cooled, you take your heat shrink, you slip it all the way as far down as you can. All right, so same thing that we did before. Um, if you have a vise, use the vise, but if not, have somebody hold it with pliers because again, it's gonna get very hot. So you gotta wait the six seconds for the soldering gun to heat up. And then lean it up a little bit. So you wanna heat up that solder until it falls into the cup like that. Then you wanna hold it still, don't move it. You wanna hold it still as long as you can. And if you get a little bit of solder sticking out, you wanna just make sure you get the gun hot and knock that down a little bit. But that looks great. So now what we could do is take the heat shrink on the first one we did, obviously not the one that we just did. You wanna slide that over the soldering job that you just did. Then preferably get a heat gun. I just have a, a lighter right now. So then you take your lighter and try and get a blue flame as close as possible to it. So it shrinks it down. But obviously not too much. You don't wanna burn the rubber. All right. So now the heat shrink is down, we could slide this up, but first we gotta do this one. That seems cool enough to try and get that up. Perfect. See how it went right over. Now we're gonna take the lighter again and get the blue flame as close as possible to it, just cause that's the hottest and shrink it really quickly. Again, you don't wanna let it sit there too long. You wanna just try and get it done quickly and move on. All right, so that looks great. Now you wanna just take your connectors, pull them over the heat shrink and onto the XT90 connector. Good. So it should look just like that. I'll see you guys when we're done with the other one. All right guys, so this is the final product. Not the cleanest in the world, but it works. We already tested it and uh, we're gonna go make a video and show you guys the difference between a 20 tooth pinion on the Mojave and the 16 tooth pinion. So stay tuned. Thanks so much for watching and, and don't forget to subscribe and like the video and I'll see you in the next one. So